Hello everyone, welcome. This is now Outlast 2. I'm going to show you guys and girls where to find all the documents and the recordings. So this will be part one of part two. So let's get to it. So the first two recordings will be given to you during the prologue in the helicopter. Once you uh, finally grab your camera, you will find the wreckage of the helicopter. So all you have to do is just raise your camera up and just record the chopper. Of course, Shit. this is given to you as well. Man. You have to do it to proceed on. Not the so past the chopper you went past, you will find that there's a guy hanging from a tree. So make sure you record him to get the next one. So the next recording, carry on, and you'll be into the town section. So all you have to do now is just record the town. Once you've done that, you can carry on. My dear sweet Ellie. From the last location, you now you want to go over. Go past the building to your left. And the first building on your right hand side, you will find there's a doorway. In that doorway, and in the house, you will find the document located on the table. Also, just like let you guys and girls know, I'm trying to make this video spoiler free as possible. Hey man. So hopefully if you're watching oh, now shit. while playing it oh, shit. You're... um yeah hopefully i don't spoil nothing for you guys so carrying on so once you leave the house go past the dead cow and you'll find a dead person to the right right next to that house you will find a door go through that door and look on the table for your next document So the next recording is leave the house and go left. Keep going straight until you find a dead end. You will find lots of crosses next to a gate. So make sure you record these to get the uh, recording. That's, that's fucked up. Also, I have also um, done a specification on what chapter you're on. So at the moment, this is still classed as the crash. So eventually, once you carry it on, you will go down into a cellar. You pretty much can't miss this, so make sure you pick up the piece of paper before you carry on. So once you have encountered your first actual enemy, once you avoided it, you will have to move this movable object so you can climb up the ladder. Once you do this, you will find the document to the right hand side on the ground. Make sure you pick that up. So now this is classed as the compound. Once you have snuck through the village, and you'll get a massive horn happen. And all the villagers will go crazy, kind of thing, and stop attacking you. Before you actually find the compound, you will find a dead lady on the ground containing your next document. So the next recording will be the compound. As soon as you carry on, you will find the church. Well, if it is even a church anyway. So yeah, pretty much all you have to do is just record it. So that is number 12. So when you enter the building, you have to go right. Before you carry on any further, look right and you'll find another document. Pretty much on the story progression, so you go right past his document anyway. From the last location, go for the next door and carry on. Head down the stairs and go the only way you can go. Go right and you'll find another document located in this pit area. Once you have climbed out, 
but we'll have to go up the stairs anyway, so you can't really miss it. But when you enter upstairs, you have to unlock the door. Before you do that, pick up the document to your left hand side. So this is now the St. Sybil School. Pretty much as soon as you start, you will find Jessica's writing on the uh, drawing board there. So make sure you record it. There's no picture. Just noise. So once you get to the fields checkpoint or chapter, of course you won't know. Once you meet Ethan, you'll have to climb out of the hidey ho he put you in. And of course you need to... You are, well, you'll find the dead body in the ground, so make sure you record the body. So that will be in the interrogation. And the next document is located in the house still. So looking at the body now, before you enter that will leave the door, you will find it on the right side. So if you guys are facing the door, it's to your left, next to the bed. So recordings once again. To your left, you'll find a woman looking at a Bible. Eventually she'll put it down and walk away. Of course, you definitely notice these two um, guys being burnt alive. Of course, all you have to do is just record them. So once you have recorded them, if you're looking directly at them, turn around and go to where the woman was looking at the book. In this building, you will find a table located to the right. Make sure you pick the document up. Marta. So once you go down, the, the only way you can go really, just look directly in front of you, ignore the crawl space to your left, and keep going straight. Once you do this, you will find good old Marta. Make sure you record her. To grab the recording. So the document. Pretty much after you finish the chase scene, you will finally escape from them. So once you go through the field, you'll have to jump over it anyway. And you may find someone, but don't worry, he won't hurt you. Go to the left, you'll find some small stairs. Go around the building and you should run directly into this document, just to the left, next to the door. So later on you have to push push another <laughs> movable object once you've done that. Go the only way you can go. Once again this area is part of the story so you have to come here. Before you interact with the chain go left and on the box you will find the document. Now the only way you can go now is just interact with the chain and carry on. So after interacting with the chain, you'll have to go across this platform and drop down. Once you get knocked down, just walk down the pathway to your right hand side and you'll find a statue. In front of this statue, you will find the next document.
recording from the last location. Turn around and go directly straight. So once you get around here, you'll once again hear a massive loud horn and you will find some birds falling from the sky. Of course, all you have to do now is just record the birds. What the fuck was that? So once you actually see the um, big massive statue, just record it. Not much to really show here, you'll actually see it, you can't miss it. So eventually you have to come this way, can't really miss it once again. Go through the only place you can and you will find the massive town. So this will be the chapter beginning with the Temple Gate Town Square. Just record the whole town and then move on. Once you go into the town, you will find that there's a doorway. Pretty much go the only way you can, crawl underneath the stairs, and you'll be in this basement-like area. On the table to your left, before you carry on, make sure you pick up the document. Once again, you cannot miss this area. From the previous location, go right, head up the stairs. Once you head to the top of the stairs, you'll find a dead guy. Keep going up the stairs, and you will find that there's a document located on the table side, to your left hand side. So once you have to um, gain power to the generator, you will find this area with a creepy woman in the background holding a knife and just standing still talking. Once you encounter her, stay to the right hand side, jump over and go through the only way you can go is through this little gap. You will find some creepy ass dolls and go into the next room. Once you do that, you'll find your next document located on the table. From the previous location, make sure you head out and this time turn left. Go through the hole and turn left again. Go straight and go up the stairs to your right hand side. Try to ignore the scary woman and go right. Now look to the left hand side, you will find that there's a window open, so jump through the window and now you want to head down the stairs. Once you're down the stairs, go for the door here and look left. Um, I'm not going to show much of this one, but pretty much once you get next to the generator, the same room, you will find the document. So now what you have to do now is turn left and activate your generator. So there's really not much to show here. It's right next to the generator, the main objective. The so after you've done the generator, and you go up the elevator. So make sure you leave the elevator and make sure you point at the sign. Of course once this is happening you can actually read it. Save you from actually looking at the videotape.
So, from the sign. Look at the elevator. Go right. And go down this side here. You will find a dead lady. Right next to her, you will find a note. This will be number 34. So this will be the Jessica's death chapter. The only recording there is will be Hanged Jessica. So go down the corridor, you will find Jessica run away. Of Jessica. course, I don't actually see it on my screen. There she is. Turn right and you'll see her hanging. Oh God, Jess. Once again, just make sure you record her to get the recording. So this will be the chapter, well the chapel, sorry. Pretty much after a chase scene, um, you'll be in this room. And you'll find a woman on the bed, sleeping. I think she's alive anyway. Just make sure you record her. Shortly after that, you will find a pit with loads of dead bodies. Before you leave the area, make sure you pick up the document along the way. Accept my suicide. So once again, there will be another chase scene. Once you get to a point where you need to smash a hole in the ground and go through this small window. Once you go through this building here, go right and go right again. Once you go through this door, you will find that there's a document located on one of the bookshelves. From the previous location, go right and go right again. Head up the stairs and you'll be in a new room. Once you're in this room, record the old lady or the lady dead on the right hand side. From the last location, go through the next door and the only door you can go through. Now you want to go up the stairs. Once you go up the stairs, head directly straight and you will find that there's another document on the table side. From the last location, from here you want to jump out the window. And pretty much just stay to your left hand side and go all the way down the side and you'll find another document. That's located in a baby's crib. Or buggy, one of the two. So from the previous location, you need to push this object towards the gate and climb it. Once you drop over, you will find a once again, another creepy woman singing with a knife out next to a cross. To the right side in this small house area, you will find a battery and you'll find your document as well. So make sure you pick this one up. From the last location, turn around and go right. Just stay in the middle of the road or the parkway, keep going straight, go up the stairs here and go directly straight, turn left, once again go straight and you will find this tucked away in the corner next to a cross, this is number 43. So after the next chase scene, once you climb over the gate to escape, you will find that 
you will find that there's a woman hanging. Look right, go through the door. In this room here, go left and move this bookshelf, blocking the doorway. Once you move the bookshelf, you will find the next document. Recordings once again. This will be the chapel. So leave the building and now you want to head towards the girl hanging. And to your left you will see the massive chapel. Cannot miss it. Make sure you record it to gain number 45. 46. Looking at the chapel. Go up slightly, slightly, sorry. Look left, you will find an open gate and another statue. Keep going around this way and you should run directly into the document. So once you actually enter the chapel, it will be through the double doors, head directly straight, it will be on the table. So after you found the guy on wait, right in front of you, and eventually you have to hide. Once you're hidden, you'll get all this scene with a lady dying. And after the scene happens, everyone walks away. You need to come out of your hiding space and uh, record. So once you avoided another chase scene, so from the chapel, you have to go all the way to the water tower. Once you drop down, you will find this house with a lady singing to a doll. Go for the door here, and the only way you can go anyway. Before you leave the window, make sure you grab the document before you leave. And the last document for this video is once you leave the window, stay to the right hand side and go into the next house. So make sure you climb through the window and you will find the document just to the left hand side next to the pile of blood. Alright guys, this is end of part one. I'll see you guys and girls in part two.